Now, folks, uh, forgive the background noise. Um, Vivica Gay Fox, I've been meaning to make this video for quite some time. And I hope my boy Mike is so well. You know, I hope uh, Mike see this, man. I hope he do, because I actually, I want to hear his thoughts, too, on this. But um, Vivica Gay Fox, you know, a highly successful actress. I mean, this woman has been in, like, some really good movies. Well, nowadays, Vivica Gay Fox, what she's doing is she's directing and producing movies on Lifetime. And, you know, Lifetime, they make some good movies. Now, some of the plots are, are all the same where you have the single woman. She meets up with the noticeably normal guy, but then the guy turns out to be some serial killer or some psycho. You know, that plot. But I got to say, most of the movies, they pretty good. And some of the movies actually could be up on the big screen. And a lot of talented actresses and actors... They started out making Lifetime movies. A lot of them started out making those kind of movies. Okay, but Vivica A. Fox nowadays, she's doing a little bit more producing and directing more so than acting. So when you look at these movies, and I, I, okay, these are a couple of titles that's produced and directed by Vivica A. Fox. I want you guys to tell me, what do you see? What do you see, guys? Here, I'm going to roll it back again. What do you see? Come on. Think about it. What do you see? I know what I see. I lay, I, I let the cat out the bag. Here's what I see, okay? In these movies that Vivica A. Fox produced, okay? There, you've got a black woman who can be in a leading role, which they are in a leading role. Okay, I mean you have that, but guys, I started noticing more the majority of these movies in Lifetime, and especially the ones produced by Vivica A. Fox. If there's a black woman as a leading role, there's never a black man as a co-lead, or there's never a black man as a love interest in the movie. Never. Okay, and the worst thing about the movies by Vivica A. Fox is when they actually mention, uh, not like the girl's dad, that dad, most of the time, okay, most of the time, was a deadbeat dad. He left him, just left. Left the mama when she got pregnant, that narrative. Or died, died in a shootout. Like, you know, and I started looking at this, and, I'm, and I said, really? This is what Vivica Fox is trying to push? Like, is, is this the narrative that she really pushing in these movies with black men? And I start, I start looking at it, I'm like, nah, okay, maybe this just, this just one movie. But when I start looking at the rest of her movies produced by Lifetime, same narrative. Same narrative. The black dads in these movies, they're deadbeats. Now, they can't just be dead, you know, just have died. And if they do, they die because of violence. But the non-black dads, mainly the white dads, if they're not in the picture... They're rolled up to be these highly successful businessmen and, you know, they just, they couldn't get along with their, their spouse. They're these highly successful businessmen. They got all this money and if the dads are in, even in the picture, these dads are doing well financially. But the black dads of these black girls in these movies, they're never around, okay? They're not doing highly successful. They're not. They're deadbeat, broke brothers that don't have a job. And I start really, I start, I start getting upset. Like, this is a narrative that this buckethead heifer, this is what she want to push about black men. Stereotype. And, I, you know, and I start thinking now in these movies, and guys, I don't have an issue with interracial dating. I, guys, I don't have an issue with that. My issue is that when every single movie you do that's interracial dating, when you have to mention the black male in the movie, the black guy is some kind of deadbeat. That's when I have a problem. That's when I have the problem. Not every black dude is a deadbeat father. Not every black dude is out here in the streets. Not every black dude is out here, you know, pimping and all this other mess. Not every black dude is doing that. But this is the narrative that Vivica K. Fox pushes in these movies. She pushes. And 
You know, and I start thinking, man. So this this is what she really thinks. This is what she really thinks. Like, you look at all these movies. All these movies. Why can't there be a black male leading? A leading black male role? Why? Now, some Lifetime movies, they do have them. They do have a black male that's actually doing well financially. But it's not Vivica A. Fox films. It's not a film by Vivica. Like, she make the brothers out to be, like, just nothing. Just pieces of POSs. I mean... You know, and I'm like, does she have a disdain for black men? And I'm really starting to think that she do. I'm starting to think that she do. Because, come on, man, every single movie you make and you can't have a black male leading role. Well, because, you know, in, in, in anything showing a black man in positive light, that's not good, okay? And I guess that's not what the producers at Lifetime want to see. I guess it's not what they want to see, huh, Vivica? I mean, I guess you can keep perpetuating the narrative. And then, you know, the races over at Lifetime, of course, they can say, yeah, well, you know, Vivica's black and she was the one that directed the film. She was the one that directed it, you know. But you guys have to approve the film. Yeah. Yep. And every time she come up with a movie, you know, or when she's putting in one in production, I already know. I already know what it's going to be about. I already know. You don't even have to, you don't even have to stress the title. And then she got a bunch of other movies where she don't cast any black people, period. She be the only black person in the movie. <laughs> Folks, I, I just, I just shake my head. I just shake my head, bro. Like, have we gotten here at this point as a race that this is what we do? This is what we do. Guys, if y'all notice that the other races, they don't do this. They stay on code. Like, they stay on complete code. <laughs> God, dog, man. And I'm shocked, man, because I watched a lot of Vivica A. Fox movies back in the past. But I know anytime she do anything, I, I won't support it. I mean, I won't support it because, it, you know, what she doing and putting out there, I mean, this, this shit is asinine, man. It's asinine. You have a lot of uh, successful brothers who got their own doctor practices. A lot of successful engineers, multimillionaires, real estate mongols, okay, musicians. Okay, you got brothers got their own contracting businesses. You got brothers that own their own restaurants. I mean, you know, and you would think that she could, you know, pick something that's positive. Pick some of the positive aspects of being a black male. Nah, she don't want to do that. Vivica Fox want to put every negative stereotype in there about black men. She want to put every single negative stereotype out there. And it's a damn shame, bro. It is a damn shame. Damn shame. It is what it is, man. But you know what's going to happen, though? What's going to happen is they're going to turn against Vivica Fox and see Vivica Fox... She's going to turn into Kanye West, and then she's going to try to get back into good graces of black folks. But it's going to be too late. It's going to be too late. Because ain't nobody going to want to listen. Ain't nobody going to want to listen. You know, and it kind of pissed you off because um, even a uh, guy, uh, Fred, you know, making these movies and, you know, just saying, well, you know, wait till my next movie. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. I'm going to tear black men up in, the, in my next movie. Like, what the? What, what, wait a minute. What? Wait a minute, this is what you want to push out. Like, this is a narrative that you want to perpetuate. You want to perpetuate that narrative. I mean, man, this, this, this shit don't make no sense, man. But it never makes sense. It never makes sense. It do make sense. It do make sense because we know, okay, we know who's behind Vivica Fox. We know who's backing her. I mean, it's not rocket science, y'all. We know exactly who's backing Vivica Fox. And, of course, when you got somebody putting their money behind you, they want you to make the black villain as best as, as good as you can. You have to make that black villain. And Vivica Fox is doing a good job of the black villain. Doing a great job. And I start wondering, how many brothers actually cast for this role? How many brothers do she say no to? 
And I'm pretty sure a lot of black males, they come in, because they've got a lot of black actors that's trying to get their feet in the door, trying to get their feet wet in the business. And, you know, how, how many black dudes do she say no? That are actually qualified, they can act. I, I would love to know it. 